school dress code policies are pretty detailed as far as what a student can and cannot mm -hmm. wear, but one high school student follows the rules and is still asked to change. 10 News Education reporter Isabel Mascarenas explains why after you hear what he was wearing. The school dress code sets a standard, so when a male student at Riverview High School decides to wear heels to school on Friday, an assistant principal asks him to take off his shoes. And it really wasn't a dress code violation. It was a matter of, you know, for his own well-being and or if your attire causes a disruption. And it also says that you're not supposed to be dis discriminated against race, sexuality, or religion. And if girls can wear heels, why can't boys wear heels? Like 11th grader Morgan Rogers says the student has a right to express his sexuality, but Principal Bob Heilman says this case comes down to safety. And part of bullying is you try to prevent it. And whether you take um, people making fun of what you're wearing or what your hair looks like or whatever, if I can prevent that, I want to prevent that. So by her pulling him out of class, I feel personally like that caused more of a distraction than him actually wearing the heels. To show their support on Friday, some students created dozens of these tags for classmates to wear. This one says support diversity, and they didn't stop here. We have a very, very um, accepting population at our school. Morgan and her friends set up a theme week. Monday, everyone would wear heels. Tuesday, cross dress. And on Wednesday, girls wear blue and boys pink. The principal has his pink tie. I think the message to the school, to all of us, is respect everybody for whoever they may be. In Riverview, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News. Now on Tuesday, another male student wore his girlfriend's dress to school and the principal and student's father asked him to change his clothes.